Okay, so today I'm going to help you with what is definitely the most annoying and frustrating feature of Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince, and that is egg hunting. Um, the eggs are rare appearances, uh, and there are four different tiers of rarity. There's white, silver, gold, and rainbow. Um, for a lot of the X rank and just top tier monsters in general, you are going to need a specific monster that only drops from a specific egg, or hatches from a specific egg. This has been a nightmare. I have been grinding for probably six or seven hours just grinding eggs and have not found uh, the monsters I need. There are three different monsters I need for three different X or S rank monsters. So, yeah, it's it's been a nightmare to say the least, but I've found what I believe to be the quickest way to hunt eggs. So first thing you want to do is find the area you want to look for the eggs in. I highly recommend Circle of Caprice, and you'll see why in a moment here. But the first thing you want to do is get to the Circle of Caprice and win 10 battles, okay? So we're in the Circle of Caprice, upper echelon. You want to be in the upper echelon, and you want to win 10 battles. That was my 10th or possibly 11th battle, okay? And then what you want to do is you want to go to an area that is a different circle altogether, okay? You need to leave the area. You don't want to go to any of the dungeons. I tried messing with the dungeons to do this, thinking it would be easier. It doesn't work. So you want to go to the Circle of indulge, Indulgence, because I kind of hate farming eggs there anyways. Um, and you go to Rose Hill. You have to leave the circle that you did the 10 battles in. And I don't know if scouting counts as winning a battle. I haven't tested it, because winning 10 battles is a, is a timely endeavor, as it is. And then you want to save your game. Once you have left the circle, gone to another circle that you're not going to be scouting monsters in, or eggs in, sorry. And then, you close the game. Alright? And then you jump back into the game. Reload the game from, from scratch. Now, I don't know if you could just go back to the title menu if this works as well. Like I said, it takes 10 battles. And if you, if you screw it up and do it wrong, you gotta do those 10 battles again. So, I haven't tried too much experimentation other than uh, trying to... To have it work in the dungeons and uh, it didn't work in the dungeons so i haven't experimented too much outside of that and then load your save of course wait for your save file to load and then we are in circle of indulgence upper, upper echelon we want to go to the circle of caprice i don't know if i'm saying that word right by the way and you want to go to amon's uh sanctum a amon's sanctum So, the reason you wanted to go to Amon or A. Amon Sanctum is because this is the best vantage point out of any of the places to look for eggs. So, over here we can see, you can see a white thing off in the distance there, so you have to make sure to wait a minute and see if it's moving. If it's moving, it's just an item, um, but you're looking for white eggs. And then you come over here, to this side. Look out, because that living statue is going to try and mess you up. Look around. You see any eggs? Don't see any yet. And then, you want to come along here. Be careful not to fall. If you fall, it kind of sucks. You just kind of come back, but... You just warp, zoom back here. This bird is definitely going to attack me, but... The best time to come here is in autumn, of course, because in autumn, the water's gone, and a lot of the eggs are actually underneath the water. So there's an egg. You can see an egg way over there. On the, uh, I don't know if you can see it from here, but it's on the other side of that pillar. Up on that ledge. There's a couple places, like, I know where to look now for the eggs, because I found them so often. So 
So some of these corners, a lot of the corners. There's another one over there. So usually there's a max, I mean, there's a max of three eggs every time. Um, I think there's supposed to be three every time. It's just sometimes it's hard to find that third one. Um, down here there's an egg sometimes. So you gotta, you gotta look everywhere. And all these monsters are gonna try and mess you up. But, so we got one egg there. And we got... Where was that other egg? One egg there. And I think there was one egg over here somewhere. Okay, let's go get this one. Ah, and there's an egg there. That one's always hard to check from up top. But so let's go get that one. So I believe we found all three. I thought I thought I found two up there up top, but I I kind of seem to have lost one of them. But let's go grab this. What we want is Sorrow's Pawn in a silver egg or the lion in a gold or in a rainbow egg. Okay, we got a rainbow egg. And we got Crystal Linda. Holy crap. So that's a pretty awesome one. Not the person I'm looking for, but uh, Crystalinda, absolute babe. Definitely somebody I, I've wanted the entire game. That's awesome that we got her, but not, not the person we're looking for. So let's keep going. Let's go to the next egg. You can get some great drops from these eggs, but it is incredibly tedious to get them. Okay, so we know that the other one was up over here. And as you continue to do this over and over again, you're going to get used to where the eggs appear and how to get to their locations as well. Okay, I believe it was up here, but I'm not 100% sure. And as you're looking for eggs, if you haven't found all three yet, keep your eyes peeled. You might find the third one while you're, while you're heading to the, uh, the other two. Okay, now whereabouts was it? There it is. We got a gold. Nothing useful for me in a gold, I don't I don't believe. Got a free mohawker. It also sucks when it's uh when it's twilight, when you got like those sparkles everywhere with the constellations in the sky. Uh, the reason it sucks is because a lot of these sparkles can look like eggs that are off in the distance. So you have to move the camera around. So usually the ones near Rose Hill Tower are underwater. So you do have to you do have to check pretty thoroughly. I mean, you got to check pretty thoroughly everywhere anyways. Um, sometimes there's some hiding by those pillars. Just trying to see cuz usually there's 3 but so, that's not always the case. There's not always three. Sometimes there's just two. And take a look. I like to land usually around here. Because then you can see if the egg that's over here spawned. Oh yeah, these yetis. Abom abominable showmen. Look like eggs too in the distance. So you gotta be careful. Okay, so now we want to check corners. A lot of the eggs will spawn in the corners. Some of the eggs you can only get to in certain seasons. That's not an egg. There's an egg right there. So some of the eggs you can only get to in certain seasons. So for this egg, we can only get to in either winter or spring. So let's get above. Where did I spawn here? get somewhere close by we would have spawned at the eastern eastern altar so there's our third egg okay so let's see it looks like the ice the winter will let us do it sometimes it's spring sometimes you have to land on a bunch of lily pads to get up here but if you see an egg and you can't get to it chances are you just need to change the seasons and let's see what is in our third egg. It is silver. Hopefully we can get Sorrow's Pawn. And we got a Splatty Punk. 
So as you can see, it can be very frustrating. I mean, I've been I've been grinding at this for a very long time and have not gotten the the monsters I want. It is cool that we got Crystalinda. But now, now that I got all three eggs, what I want to do is repeat what I did at the start. So you want to fight 10 battles. Make sure you count each time. And then you want to zoom to another circle. Save your game. And restart the game. Close the game, restart the game, and your eggs will be back. Um, you can also, so that was one battle, you can also, if you'd like, to try a different area. If you battle ten times, then switch to a different area, and then battle ten times again, and then save, and then close the game and come back, you can, uh, you can, you can come back to this place again. Um, I have been grinding two different places. I've been grinding here, and I've been grinding the, I believe it's like the, the Circle of Fortitude. Because it, apparently the for Circle of Fortitude has a higher chance of dropping, uh, Sorrow's Servant or whatever's egg. I don't know how true that is. Um, but yeah, I've been grinding both. This place is definitely the best to be able to see all the eggs from a vantage point and to get to them. It's just way easier because it's a way more open open map than any, either of the other two. So anyways, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, please remember to like, subscribe, turn notifications to all. Uh, you can also check me out on Twitch. Come hang out at twitch.tv slash 3 We've been playing Dragon Quest Monsters of the Dark Prince. Uh, we've been doing some egg hunting, some grinding, and we've been doing uh, a lot of story progress as well. We're getting pretty close to the end of the story, I believe. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped you guys out. Um, at the end of the day, it's all about just grinding and having patience, unfortunately. I really wish and hope maybe they patch something so that you don't get the same monsters more than once, at least from, like, the rainbow eggs, because the rainbow eggs are incredibly rare to have appear. And, uh, I've gotten this, uh, bird monster three times in a row one time, which was incredibly disheartening. Anyways, guys, have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.